I don't think people come out as the genius musician or whatever. I don't think so. Everybody had a chance to play with people that we call geniuses. If I had to mention people like Mike Breaker, Pat Metheny, Joe Zawno, George Benson. There's one thing that I saw in common with these people. They practice all the time. Improvising is uh, walking in a jungle and you have a lion facing you. There, now you have to improvise. That's what you call improvisation. Doing something you never did before. But what musicians are doing is actually repetition. And excellence comes from repetition. You want to be good at doing something, just do it every day. So all these great musicians have something in common. They practice a lot. And uh, the more you're doing something, you become good. I grew up singing everything I'm playing. It comes out of this result. If I could sing anything I'm playing, I could play anything I sing. And I could play anything I hear. As a kid, I didn't have any perfect pitch. If you, you played no boob, I wouldn't tell you. This is this, that, or this is A. First of all, I didn't know A or whatever, you know. So by singing all the time, playing and singing all the time, now when I hear a music, I know, oh, A flat, G. D, C sharp, boom, right away. I couldn't do that as a young kid, but I could do that after because uh, I sang so much. You know your range too, so you kind of control your range. I hear something, I'm like, ooh, that's too high, I can't go that high. I didn't even try, but I know it already. So that's why I was trying to get people to, to sing. Don't think of your voice being, oh no, I don't think I'm a singer, no. It's just to incorporate that in your body. I got good ears and good memory. Anything I hear, I can remember it. How quietly and softly you and your band can play even when it's grooving really hard. Rarely do you just get something that funky, groovy, that's quiet. And you're the master of that. I learned that from Count Basie. Boop, 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 quiet. Beautiful. Yeah. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I grew up in a church, so nobody had a microphone in the church, so it was all acoustic. And yeah, nothing sounded better than that. As you know today, music is all, you know, everything is all amplified, everything is all distorted, everything has to be loud, everything is all compressed and all those things. You don't hear a lot of uh, acoustic music. Because today you go to clubs, I see people going with earplugs. People go in club now today with earplugs. It's like going in a movie theater soon with a high watch. I'm like, man, where are we going? This is not how you listen to music or musicians sometimes. I got to a bandstand sometimes. I see a drummer coming, start putting up his <laughs> It's like going below the sea, like 20 feet under, and I'm standing here, and we're supposed to play together. <laughs> Luckily, in my band, like you see, if you saw my band playing, we, you know, dynamics are actually a, a big part, a huge part of our success, I would say, yeah. Music taught me not to be afraid of the difference, to actually embrace the difference. By embracing the difference, you become more tolerant with anything. You will try to understand others better.